All right, you guys know it's going to happen. It's always happening. It's, 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 it happens every once in a while, or it happens to somebody, all right? I'm not sure if it ever happens to you, but if it does, hopefully you won't be in this situation right here. Look, I want you new jacks out there to understand that when you get out of the truck, snatch them knobs out. Make sure you hear the... That lets you know that you're letting the air out of your brakes back there in the back. Let you know that your brakes are being set. And make sure that the trailer, tractor and trailer both won't move. You won't be in a situation like this right here, man. Now, look. I look. I just want you guys to be safe out there, all right? Don't, don't let this happen to you. Don't let this happen to you. Everything's cool, everything's calm You know what I'm saying But look Off in the distance Oh my god Oh my god, it's coming faster It's coming faster Oh no Oh no Oh Oh, oh That guy In the May truck not having a good day. Not having a good day at all. No, sir. Not having a good day at all. Look, drivers, I'm just telling y'all, man. Look, listen. Hopefully you guys would set your brakes and make sure that this will never happen. Now, situations happen. I mean, it was an accident. He probably knew that he set his brakes, but he probably forgot too so hey just know that when you get out of the truck set your brakes that's all that's wrong but yeah of course you lie sit there and organize try to be more than just hoes um thinking you sort of tight because someone wrote you lines thinking you whores have got flow <laughs> no you can record the lies Let me yo what's up guys welcome to on the 30 i am lockout men i am here to talk about some topics that i woke up to that's on my mind now first thing first i want to tell you guys that i am all right i am back i'm fresh uh just had a little you know little situation that i had to take care of a couple of days ago i'm going to let myself explain that a little bit that what brings us up until now in the situation so yesterday uh i went into surgery they went in my mouth went down in my throat took some samples up out of there obviously they must have scratched because it's still it's still irritating me to this day or to right now so they went in took some sample and i won't know nothing for maybe about a week or so to find out what it is now when she went in there she looked she was like well she didn't see nothing serious so hopefully it's not cancerous i pray to god that it's not cancerous but if it is we're catching it early and i'm able to probably eradicate it if you know what i'm saying um, all right but, but she, she I am back. I'm here with some topics. So we'll, 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 we'll see with a lot is. of things that went on. All right. So let's let's get into the big topic that probably happened within a week or so. I knew it was coming. Again, I knew it was coming. All right. I knew it was coming. It happened. I gotta find it. I gotta find it. I gotta find it. Hold on. I gotta find it. I gotta find it. I gotta find it. No, we don't need you. Bam! Right here. What did I tell you guys? I knew it was coming. I knew it was gonna happen. And I do not understand why for the life of me, people loses their freaking minds. Okay, I want my sandwich. Make my 
motherfucking sandwich. Make my motherfucking sandwich. Make my fucking sandwich. Make my motherfucking sandwich. Make my fucking sandwich. Make my motherfucking sandwich. Over mine. Get her goddamn food. I'm fucking When it comes to restaurants offering shit, because that's what this is. This is shit, okay? Everybody going crazy over some chicken. And now a man got stabbed to death over some Popeye's freaking chicken, man. Popeye's chicken, come on. Really? Popeye's chicken? You're going to kill somebody over some chicken. Chicken. Now look. There's a Popeye's chicken out here in every other truck stop that we go. It's in it's in I know it's in TAs. It's in a lot of TAs. I don't see a lot of us truck drivers going crazy over some Popeye's chicken. Why is regular folk going crazy over Popeye's chicken? What what is it? Is it crack? Is this a five o'clock free crack giveaway? <laughs> is it, 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 is the seasoning that good? There, my two uncles were known far and wide for their delicious cooking. They seasoned their zesty chicken using only the freshest herbs and spices. Is it, is it, Hamandos, Apados? Los Pollos Hermanos. Apanos, Hamanos. Los Pollos Hermanos. Polios, Hermanos Polios. Los Pollos Hermanos, the Chicken Brothers. Is it that good of the chicken? The finest ingredients are brought together with loving care, then slow cooked to perfection. Yes, the old ways are still best at Los Pollos Hermanos. But don't take my word for it. One taste and you will know. Come on, come on, y'all. Chicken. Yo, let's 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 see what the story. All right, it, it got a buff. Terrible story to report this morning. Right now, police in Maryland are searching for a killer following, if you can believe it, a deadly fight over a Popeyes chicken sandwich. Jane Popeyes chicken, y'all. I cannot believe this. No, it's it's horrible. It's absolutely horrible. And here are the facts as we know them from police. It was about seven o'clock last night. It was in Maryland. It was a very crowded Popeyes. It was the the uh, the Popeyes brand new sandwich was being uh, finally disseminated and people were standing in line. Two men started to get into a fight and they believe police say preliminarily that it was over the sandwich. Why? Because the line itself was to get that particular sandwich. So the fight went outside. One man took out a knife. He stabbed the other man. Somebody called 911. The perpetrator was gone. They came, life-saving maneuvers. They took him to the hospital, and 51 minutes later, that 28-year-old man was gone. He was dead. Police in St. George, uh, Prince George County, Maryland, they gave a statement last night. Take a listen. This is related to the release of the uh, the sandwich. For you to get that angry over anything, um, for that type of anger to develop into um, this type of violence, again, is a very sad and tragic day. And that person needs to turn themselves in. Very sad, very tragic, very sad, very tragic. Sad and tragic day. Over some chicken. Chicken! Popeye's chicken! Popeye's crack! Drugs and alcohol.
alcohol have ruined my life. Y'all stand in line for a dollar for a two dollar piece of freaking chicken. Come on now. Come on now. Y'all 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 stand in line for a two dollar piece of chicken. I don't get it. I don't understand it. Yo, leave your comments in the comments below. What's what's y'all stands on this? Drivers, YouTubers, yo, lockout men community, holler at your boy. What would you in your right mind stand outside for some chicken? I've seen worse. I've seen I've seen worse. All right. Now don't get me wrong. I stood in line. I I I used to be a line a line stare. When the new Xbox system came out back in the day, that new 360, you damn right I was in line for that. I was, me, me and my son posted up at the, where, where did we post up at? We posted up at the Walmart. Up there in East Lake. me and my son posted up at the Walmart. It was raining, just like it's raining now. I was out there, had the chairs, had the phones, out there posted up. I was the first one there, got there at 8 o'clock that morning. I was there. Everybody over here looking at me sitting up there. Yo, what you waiting on, dude? Yo, I'm waiting on that good Xbox 360, my brother. Yo, you, what? When it come out? It comes out tonight at midnight after one af, after 12 o'clock. I'm there. That good Xbox 360, I was there. I was in the line. Yo, let, let's go back a little bit farther. I was in line, me and my son. Back on the west side when the very first S-Box came out. Yeah, I was in line for that. But see, I was the first one in line. Yeah. We we did line things back in the day. You know, Black Friday. That was a tradition. Yo, me and the family used to get out there, get up in Best Buy, hit that doorbuster special. We did that. But look, man, I am older now. <laughs> I am older. One thing that I never did. I never stood in line for, well, I take that back, my bad. I did stay in line for the iPhone 6. Yes, I I did stay in line for the iPhone 6. I did that. and But I never, I tell you what, I never stood in line for. I never stood in line for some sneakers. Never did that. When the new Jordans came out, I ordered them off the line. I never stood in line for no sneakers. But, look, man. This is chicken. This is food. This is, dude. That same two dollars that you that you waited all day in line for. You know you could have went to Walmart, Kroger, Aldi's, and brought a pack of chicken for two dollars, and got the it, 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 and do the same herbs and spices. For their delicious cooking, they season their zesty chicken using only the. Freshest herbs and spices. You see what I'm saying? Herbs and spices. You could have did that at Popeyes, but you're gonna you're gonna stand outside, get in a fight, kill this man over some chicken. Damn shit. Over some chicken, man. Come on. Come on. Some chicken, man. All right, so let, what what else is going on out here on my thirty? Right quick, so I want to bring this uh, bring this question to your attention because somebody brought it up, and I thought that this would be a good topic for drivers that experience this type of situation that's going on. Now, look, somebody come and fuck with your shit. I, I don't know what I would do. I don't know what I would do. All right, you do not mess with somebody's stuff especially a commercial vehicle i don't care how mad you get you know what i'm saying so this dude in this post right here hold on right quick let me let me bring it up let me bring it up right here this guy all right so we don't have his name but check it out he says in his in his post that he thinks that it's a good idea i got a great idea for teaching these asshats that has no respect or lesson. Next time you see them walking inside and don't pull away from the fuel island, go and pull their fifth wheel release. I bet I, I bet after two 
or maybe three times of cranking up a loaded trailer, they'll start to learn. Oh, yeah, bruh. We going to learn, all right. You, you going to learn today, bruh. You going to learn today. You going to learn today. All right, all right, all right. You going to learn today. You going to learn to not to do that. You going to learn today. You going to learn today. Because you're not teaching nobody nothing with that. What you're teaching is an automatic ass whooping. That's what you're teaching. Okay. Now, look. If you see somebody walk from the fuel island, there's there could be many of reasons why they're doing that. Some of us might have to go in there because a car don't work or for whatever reason. Now, I... I, I get you. I get you. Now, if you see them pull up and they still sitting in their truck and they don't get out of their truck for maybe 30 minutes, then yeah, that's a valid reason to get pissed off. I got you. Okay. But if you see them, you know, go in there, come back out, take care of their business and then go back in there, take care of their business some more come back out move up and then go in there and take care of some business some more then i can understand the disrespect i see the disrespect i hear the disrespect okay but that gives you no reason at all to go and mess with that man's fifth wheel you think i want to come outside and 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 see that that's why all new jacks take this take this valuable lesson check your shit when you come when you leave before you go in there and after you come back check your stuff make sure it's all right and do the tub test yo lockout man community let me know about that in the comments below man hit your boy up let me know how y'all feel about that because this right here is crazy crazy now listen here listen here look i in my little time out here in 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 this trucking world i seen everything <laughs> i seen everything look at here look look man clifton springs man travel under semi by hammock look if you're not doing your pre-trip then you're not doing your job because ain't no way in the world that this man right here is looking for a truck to hide up under. Check this out. Back in. I'm checking out. I'm scoping out. Ah! Yeah. Okay, you know what? I, I really hate doing this like real time because the buffering on here is atrocious. So give me a minute while I reset. Okay, I always have to reset this. I do not understand why, but let's check it out. Hopefully it's enough on here to follow this young man to pick out a truck so he can get up under there and ride. Let's see what's up. Try baby bullet back again. I'm checking out. I'm scoping out. Yeah. All right. See, I just got done scoping out the parking lot to see if anybody will see me getting underneath this Martin Intermodel here. That's a possibility. Um, I don't want to be found. It's probably an instant jail. Nobody's looking. So that means let's check and see if this guy's looking. Yo, bro, I'm looking. I see you. See, that's what you, that's what we gotta be. We gotta be a little bit more. We gotta be a little bit more cautious out here. We gotta see what's going on in our surroundings. Cause I see you, bruh. I you may not be up to no good, but I don't know what you're doing. But getting up under a truck and trying to hitch a ride to wherever you need to go, bro. 
I I don't know. Maybe it probably would have been a hell of a lot better if you would have just walked up to the truck driver and be like, yo, bro, is you going down that way? I don't think anybody's looking. I don't know if it's gonna I, I don't know if it's gonna catch y'all, but it looks like I'm gonna have I'm gonna be buffering. Yep. I got full assets and I don't understand why. Oh, Jesus Christ. Give me a second, y'all. I'll be right back. All right, so I am back again. I had to reset. I had to, I had to reset my buffering because when I do this in, like, real time, I'm using Love's Internet, which is spotty at best. I even got my own uh, Internet, which is spotty at best. But... I'm, I'm trying to bring this guys to you right quick on my quick 30. So let's continue on where we left off. So this man right here is walking around about to get up under this Martin truck to hitch a ride. So let's finish the story. Look at what this dude doing, man. Now, see, this is where pre-trip comes into play. Now, see, if the driver pre-tripped his truck, then he would have known that that fool was up under his truck. All right, so we got another we, we got another video right here that's actually showing him riding up under the truck. Look at this fool! Like really, man? Like look, dude, really? Okay, I, I, I need you guys to react to me right now, okay? Right now, what you guys think of this situation right here, man? This dude is actually in a hammock. He is actually in a hammock up under a fully moving 65 mile an hour truck. Come on, bro. Bro, ham. What are you doing, man? What are you do? What? What? What do you do? see? I'm, I'm blaming the truck driver. All right, because see, if the truck driver did his pre-trip, he would have known that old boy was up under there, riding along. You know what I'm saying? Riding along, man. All right, look. <laughs> Look, I'm glad you guys hummed out with me for uh, for my quick 30 right quick. I really do appreciate it. Look at here. I want you guys to do your pre-trips, okay? I want you guys to set your brakes. I want you guys to be aware of your surrounding. You know what I'm saying? And look, I am good. I am here. I'm going to try and be here with you. So if you guys love what I'm doing, if you guys like these videos, man, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, hit that bell for more content like this, and hook your boy up with some coffee, man. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm post-op ready. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Post-op ready. I mean, I, I just leave it in God's hands, and, um, and, and listen, just, just, just let him take the wheel for whatever reason, all right? For whatever reason, just just let him take the wheel, and he'll just 
he'll drive you to wherever you need to go all right so with that said thank you for being here thank you for joining me i really do appreciate it i'll see you guys in the next one peace